Hello friends, let us look at one of the important programs of arrays. We call them as a cyclic rotation of the arrays or shifting the elements of an array by one position. When I say that I am supposed to do a shifting operation, there are two types of shifting. One is a right shift and the other is a left shift. Now, how do I carry out this particular task of shifting the elements of an array by one position? Now, see here. Suppose if I say that I have say four elements in an array and let us say these four elements are in this fashion. This is my input array. Let me take an example. So, this is my input array A say 12, 9, 14 and say 8. Now, what I need to do is I need to shift this elements of the array towards the right hand side by one position. So, the new array or the output has to be the output has to be these contents. When I shift this 12 goes on the other side, 9 goes in the place of 14, 14 goes in the place of 8 and 8 will now occupy the last position. This is the output array which I need to obtain when I am supposed to do a shifting operation. So, how do I get this particular stuff? A very important and a simple logic. Whenever we do a shifting towards right hand side or towards left hand side, in the next video, I will illustrate how do I do the left shift, but the logic is still the same. Any cyclic rotation program, when you want to do it in a right hand side or in an anti clockwise direction or left hand side, that is a clockwise direction. When I say right hand side, the elements move in an anti clockwise direction, and when I say left hand side, the elements move in a clockwise direction. So, here I am trying out an anti clockwise movement. When you say cyclic rotation, you have to indicate the direction in clockwise or anti clockwise. If you are going to shift the elements, in that case, you can just say left shift or right shift. Right? So, in this case, I am supposed to do a right shift. You can remember this entire logic into three simple steps. Step number one whenever you do a shifting operation of an array, one element of the array will move out and occupy the other side. In a right hand side, the last element will occupy the first position and in the left hand side, the first element will occupy the last element, last position. So, here I am going to transfer this a of n minus 1 into the first location, but you cannot do it directly. What to do is, whatever the element which is going to go out, now here this element is going to go out, hence take this particular element and copy it into a temporary variable. Always remember, the element which is going to be taken out of an array has to be always copied on to temp. Step number 1, I feel it is clear now. Element, repeat that, element which is going to be taken out of the array has to be copied on to temp. So, here in this case temp equals to 8. So, when I say temp equals to 8, what I need to do? I need to now shift the other elements of the array. Now, here you cannot think of replacing 9 with 12 and then 14 with 9. No. Because when 9 is shifted on 12, both the elements will have 9. So, you cannot take this particular line. So, 14 will be 9. So, suppose if you do right hand side, so 14 goes at this place, 9 comes to this place, 12 comes to this particular place. So, how do I do this? So, what I need to do is since I have taken the element from n minus 1, what you do is you start from n minus 2. Because when 14 goes to 8, I do not have regret of losing this particular 14. Because this sorry, I, I, I do not have regrets of losing this particular 8 because 8 is stored temporarily. So, what you do is you start from n minus 2 and move towards 0. So, a of n minus 2. So, I will draw this particular array with these black blank values now, 8 has been copied on to temp. So, that is the first step. Second step, what you need to do? You need to start from n minus 2 and go towards what? 0. Where a of n minus 2 has to go? a of n minus 2 has to go to a of n minus 1. So, if i holds n minus 2, then I have to say that a of i should go to a of i plus 1 because n minus 2 plus 1 is n minus 1. So, the a of i goes to a of i plus 1. So, 14 goes to the next location. i gets further decremented. So, i becomes in this example 0, 1, 2, 3. a of 3 should be copied into a of 4. After that, a of 1. 
So a of 1 should go to what? a of 3. So this becomes 9. a of 0 should go to a of 1. That becomes 12. But when I reduce this particular value, automatically the indicator, ind the index i is reduced to minus 1, which means that the loop is going to turn out as false. And now, for the last time, what I need to do is, whatever the element, the third step is whatever the element which is in temp has to copy it at the first position. This. Now, don't you feel that this and this array are one and same? So, what we did? The element which is going to go out is copied onto temp. We started with the element which is just before that and went towards the other side that is 0. The current value where i is pointing is stored onto the next location. Next location can be obtained by i plus 1. So, a of i is transferred to a of i plus 1. Since assignment operator works from right to left, so a of i is transferred to a of i plus 1. So, a of i is 14. So, sorry, a of i is 14 and this goes to this particular place. What are the steps which are stated? So, a of 0 goes to temp. What are the steps which are stated? Let us understand these steps with the program itself. So, here I have a program which illustrate how exactly this particular operation goes. Now, I will have the, the initial uh, operations of the arrays, numbers and the uh, elements. So, let us say the value of n as say 5 and here I have this array called as A which stores these 5 values say 2, 9, 8, 4, 7. These are the elements which have been read by the user. Now, step number 1. This is step number 1. What did it? The element which is going to go out that is a of n minus 1 is copied onto temp. So, your temp is now what? 7. Now, what are the new numbers which I am going to write? I am going to write with a different color. Observe this particular operation. So, temp goes to this particular place. a of n minus 1 goes to temp. After that, I will start the loop from n minus 2 that is from this location and go towards what? 0 i of n minus 2 i minus i greater than equals 0 i minus minus. A of i that is in this case 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. A of 3 should be copied to A of 4. So, this goes as 4. Go back i is further reduced to 2 a of 2 is copied out to a of 3. Go back i becomes 1. a of 1 is copied onto a of 2. Go back a of 0 is copied onto a of 2. When you go back 9 uh, sorry i is minus 1 which means that this loop is going to be turned as false. And finally what I need to do? Whatever the value which is in temp should be copied onto a of 0. So, temp should always go to a of 0. I have done this particular operation of shifting the elements right hand side by one position. So, I have moved in a anti-clockwise direction of this particular array. So, this is how we carry out the cyclic rotation or shifting of these elements. Now, let us see a simple modification in this particular code. We will try out to modify this program to repeat a set of numbers for some say 2 times or 3 times. Let us see how do I shift these numbers by 2 times or 3 times. So, whenever I say that I am supposed to do it for say 2 times, the elements of the array need to be jumping by 2 2 positions. Let us see how do I do this particular convention. So, now if I ask you to modify this particular code so that the elements are shifted by say 2 times or 3 times, there are multiple ways of thinking this particular code. Now, at the logic which I have stated, you can even think, still think of the same lo logic. Suppose if I have 100 elements. And I want to shift all these elements say by two positions towards right hand side. So, what you can do? The last two numbers have to be copied. Let me say the last two numbers says temp 1 and temp 2. I will take the last number into say a of n minus 1 into temp 1 and a of n minus 1 into n minus 2 into temp 2. Then I will start index from n minus 3 and go till 0. Shift all these elements one side but towards right hand side. Temp a of n minus 3 goes to a of n minus 1, n minus 4 goes to n minus 2 and so on and so on and so on. Every time when I shift, I will shift to two elements simultaneously and when I shift to two elements simultaneously, the value of i or the increment counter has to be incremented by two times. But this should not be the logic one has to follow, even though possible but if I increase the level of complexity, suppose if I say that I have 100 numbers and I am supposed to shift 5 elements at one stretch. 
then I have to take five temporary variables t1, t2, t3, t4, t5. Last five elements have to be copied on temporary locations. Shift all the five elements by one, then five elements by one, then I have to go in steps of five itself. And in that case, probably the last set of elements will not be able to be moved. How do I do this then? Think simple, then the code will automatically be in your mind. Now, we know that whatever the instruction which I have written at this place, this entire body, what it does? This shift the elements for how many times? One time, okay, including this particular temp of n minus 1. So, the body which I have written at this place, this entire thing, what it does is it shifts the elements of the number or it shifts the elements of the array by one position towards right hand side. Why do not we repeat this for say two times or three times? Assume that this is my S1, this entire thing is S1. So, what I will do is from this place I will start the code. I will say for i equals to say, say now j equals to 0 or j equals to 1, j less than equals to say 3, j plus plus and then I will place the entire S1 over here. Now, advantage of using this. Now, see here. I know that the contents which we have placed inside this particular border will shift the elements by one position. If I make them to repeat for three times, how many times these elements are going to be shifted? Three times. Have I used multiple temp variables? No, there are no multiple temp variables. There is a single temp variable. So, it means that first time this operation goes, when j becomes 2, again the elements are going to be shifted, 4 goes to the next place as temp and then remaining elements and one by one. So, don't you feel that this is much more simpler? When I wish to shift the elements by one position, you can use a simple temp, then a for and then replace that. If you want to shift for multiple times, again remember the same code, but this time do the operation for n times using one more additional loop. So, here the outer loop is going to go for number of times repetition as stronger and the inner loop is to adjust the elements vertically or horizontally depending upon the position of your arrays. So, this is how we repeat the task for repeating or setting or rearranging the elements by multiple times. So, observe the code, have a clear idea about this particular code because this is a very important code from the examination point of view. Most of the university exams will have this particular question of cyclic rotation with respect to clockwise or anticlockwise or shifting towards left hand side or by right hand side. I have illustrated this with an example on the right hand side. Thank you.